This is Rhonda A1 come to you with a giveaway haul that I won from uh, Joanna McLeod's uh, YouTube channel. I'll link it below so that um, you can check her out. But um, she was doing a giveaway for this uh, liquid latex. I don't want this to be upside down, but I have a feeling that it's going to be upside down. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this uh, liquid latex, and this one is just um, in white, and uh, uh, so she sent this to me uh, as part of her giveaway, and um, I was so excited to get it because I've been wanting to try it, but I just hadn't got around to ordering it yet. So I've already uh, put it in um, this bottle. This is just a Sally Hansen bottle, but I, uh, I had just a little bit of, of the product left. So I took it out, uh, rinsed it out with acetone, then rinsed it out with water and uh, and then to put the liquid latex in here and then added a couple of drops of alcohol ink so that um, it'd have a little color to it. So, um, so yeah, so I'm very excited to use that. And I actually have already used it, so, uh, and it works great. So I'm glad that I got that. She also sent a couple of extra items that I didn't uh, know that she was going to send along with that, um, which I can't, which I can't believe that um, she was so generous enough to send this stuff. But she sent uh, this elf brush here, and this is a uh, the brush that um, is probably the best one. It's a concealer brush, but a lot of people I see use this uh, to clean up around their nails, and actually. When I first started uh, using a brush to clean up around my nails, this was the first brush that I used. And uh, acetone ate it down pretty quickly, so I kind of changed uh, brushes and I used like a boar's head brush or some kind of natural uh, bristle. But this one is really works really well until uh, the acetone starts to eat it. So I, think I got a tip off of YouTube a long time ago, just after you use acetone, just rinse it with water and that'll keep it um, lasting a lot, lot longer. So thank you for that. She also gave me a couple of nail polishes here. And she gave me some Morgan Taylor nail polishes, which I've never tried before and I'm excited to try. Um, this one is Party at the Palace. And it's just a beautiful sea foam green type of color. Um, just really, really gorgeous. So I'm really excited to try these Morgan Taylors because I just, I've never tried it and I've been wanting to try them for a while. And this beautiful color is uh, kind of like a slate bluish gray um, holographic glitter type of polish. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it is called If the Slipper Fits. And let me see if I can get that color that name for you and um, like I said it is just absolutely gorgeous I can't wait to try that and she was also very generous enough to give me uh, a full-size bottle of Seshvit so thank you for that I could always use um, uh, Seshvit it's one of the best uh, uh, fast drying clear coats out there um, that's good for nail art and um, just longer wear on your manicure so thank you for that that was really uh very generous of you to, to send that for me too and uh, so i think that's uh that's it what she what she sent for me um uh, i just wanted to tell you really quickly what i have here on my nails i got uh, an order in that i uh, purchased some of this indie nail polish called ilnp and what I have on my nails is Fame. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. I just put it on last night. Don't mind this. I have a crack that's going on under my on my natural nail and I just can't keep polishes <laughs> from cracking. I need to go ahead and cut it off. But um these this hand is all healthy. I had a a crack on one nail that I had to cut off and I'm getting them one on another one but this is um, this is it right here and if you see it in the sunlight it's absolutely gorgeous it has holographic glitter in it and it is amazing and I just wish I could you could see 
the holographic mess. I will have to do a vidi if I can so out in the sun and so you can see it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I decided to, I wore it plain today, but I'm excited to dress it up. And I'm going to dress it up with these, um, these tattoo, these metallic tattoos that I got from Five Below. Basically, they were just $2 at Five Below, and they're metallic tattoos, and you're supposed to put these on your body. You can put these anywhere on your body, and I have worn them on my skin, and they, they're really great. I do like them, but I like to wear them like on my fingers or around my wrist, and I just wash my hands way too much for them to stay on very long. But I saw somebody uh, using these as, as nail tattoos, so I decided to um, give them a try and see how they work as nail tattoos because pretty much I think they work uh, the same way. So these here are, um, you remove the protective film, press tattoo face down, firmly against clean, dry skin, wet back of tattoo completely with a damp cloth or sponge, wait 20 to 30 seconds, then peel off the backing. Um, so... Yes, those are directions that you have on back. And these are just like the the kind of like the nail tattoos that I featured in my last video. And I've just taken, uh, cut out a couple of the designs. And because they're way too big for my nails, I just cut them up into pieces on how I wanted to use them. So here's the piece here. And you can see on my thumb, this is how I used it. I just put it long ways sorry long ways on my thumb like that and on my ring finger and it kind of just dresses up your manicure so sorry about that so what you're going to do is there's a clear oops a clear film over the top that i'm trying to get off yeah here we go you just take that off because if you do it with that on then It'll transfer onto this piece of plastic and not onto your nail. So make sure you take that off. And then um, you're just going to line it up. And I may be a little bit awkward here because I'm left-handed and I'm putting this on my left hand. So I may be a little bit awkward here. So I'm trying to get it lined up the way I want it as best I can. And... Now all I have to do is, is wet it. So I have a cotton ball here that I soaked in water, probably too much water, so if it runs everywhere, forgive me. And I'm just going to place it down over it, just like that, with pressure and hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds is what this says. You may not need it that long because it's going on your nail and not on your skin. Um, I would suggest having a clear coat on top before you do this but I on the Maybelline nail tattoos I did not always use um, a clear coat I would sometimes just do the nail polish and then do this over the nail polish and it worked just fine so it's up to you but I think uh, it'll end up a lot smoother if you um, if you put a clear coat on first so Let's give it here about five or six more seconds. And there we go. You have your, this just comes off. You can throw that away. And then you have, and you just want to um, dry that, just pat it dry. And then any excess that you got on your skin, you can just clean that away with acetone. And then, of course, put a clear coat over the top. So I'm going to go do my thumb, and I'm going to wear this manicure again tomorrow with the uh, dressing on it. And that's all I have for you, too. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.